moment. So, mm. you know, you're having a drink or you're, you're comfort eating to, you know, to sort of put a Band-Aid over that emotion. So I think it's knowing what the triggers are. And with habits, it's there's a cue to why you do something. Then mm. there's the behavior and then there's the reward at the end. So it's the behavior bit that you need to change. So if you're feeling stressed rather than reaching for a, you know, a glass of a glass of wine, what else can you do to relieve that stress? Maybe you could meditate, have a relaxing bath, potter around in your garden, you know, do something else, maybe sit and read a book for 15 minutes to switch off. So it's that behavior that, that, that you need to change. So it's just being mindful um, and just very self-aware at this time as well. So one thing I've been um, saying to people is check in with yourself every day to see how you are, because some people are not sleeping as well at the moment, um, you know, not sleeping very well. So you might wake up and not feel great because you've not had a good night's sleep. So what do you need? What do you need then for yourself that day? Maybe you need to go and have a, a walk first before you start, you know, your, your day and your work. So it's I think it's just assessing that on a daily basis. But having a routine and structure and having that discipline is absolutely you know, key right now. And as you mentioned before, um, we've really struggled with the boundaries of work and life at the moment. So it's mm. making sure you have that structure every day. You're getting up at the same time every day, showing up every day as well. So, you know, instead of being sat in your pajamas all day or your jogging bottoms, put some clothes on, right? I'm in work right. mode, you know, and then take those clothes off and put your PJs back on. Now I'm in, yeah. you know, I'm in home mode. Work's finished now. Um, yeah. I try to, everyone's situation is very different at the moment. But if you're, um, if you're working from home, try and have your laptop and your working space out of your living room. So your living room is that space where you can go, you know, down tools, relax, you know, and, and that's the space where you and your family or if you're living on your own, that's where you live. Um, and put your laptop away, you know, at the end of the evening as well. Don't be on it 24 seven and just be tempted just to, oh, just have a look at my emails. You know, you've got to have that discipline and that, at that time to cut off. Um, and you're not being productive, just sat there for, you know, nine hours a day. Your brain only works in 90 minute cycles anyway. Um, so mm. during the day as well, make sure that you take breaks. That's going to keep you energized um, and it's going to help you, you know, declutter what's going on in the mind as well. What do you mean by 90 minute cycles? Yeah, so it's the rest activity cycle. It's the ultra deep mm -hmm. cycle. Um, so if you're sat there on your laptop, you know, for hours, you know, doing your work, well, it's, it's not a productive way to work. So, you know, do take regular breaks um, just to re-energize, just to move around, maybe go and get yourself a drink uh, or maybe make a phone call to somebody, you know, come back and then your brain has almost reset and you're ready to start again. 